Hi everyone, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created this minty green stiletto nail design on myself. I think mint green is a lovely shade, so I wanted to create a design around this color. So let's get started. Here are my natural nails. I've already removed my previous design, so I'm going to prep my nails starting off with filing. I plan to use stiletto full cover tip extensions today, so I want to reshape my squarish natural nails into a more oval shape so it's more tapered and sits nicely under the extension. After that, I'm going to clean up my cuticles. I'm going to apply a drop of this cuticle remover on each nail and use my metal pusher to gently push them back. This helps to lift any dead skin off my nail plate and you can see all the build up and gunk on my pusher there. Ew. <laughs> Next, I'm going to wipe away all that gunk and remaining cuticle remover off my nail plate. You can use some water to wipe it away. Now I'm going to carefully trim any excess cuticle remaining. If you're scared of cutting yourself, you can skip this step. Just make sure that your cuticles are nicely pushed back so it doesn't interfere with the adhesion of the extensions. If you're a little bit more confident with trimming your cuticles, go ahead and do that. Now I'm going in with my pink buffer. This one is a 100 slash 180 grit. I'm using the finer side to prep my nail plate and just gently buffing the surface. When I'm done, I'll give my nails a wipe with alcohol. These are the extensions I'll be using today, the Kiara Sky Jelly Tips in medium stiletto. Now I need to size up each nail and pick the tip that fits. For a good fit, the tip should cover the nail from sidewall to sidewall. If you can't find a perfect fit, you can always file down the sides to match your nail. Now I'm going to use my Kiara Sky e-file to prep and etch the inside of my extension tips. This will help the tip adhere better to my nail. I'm just roughing up the surface of the area where I think it's going to sit over my natural nail so you don't have to do the whole way. Once that's all prepped, I can apply a thin layer of these two products, the Prep and Primer from the Kiara Sky range. These two products help with adhesion. Today I'm going to try another extra product I got recently. This is the G Jelly Between Polish. It's a keratin and vitamin E treatment that you apply on your nails before the base gel. And this is going to help protect your natural nails as it acts like a shield. It also makes removing your gel or extensions easier afterwards. So I'm painting this only in the middle section of my nails and letting that air dry. Next, I'm going to apply the Builder Gel from Kiara Sky. This is going on the inside of the tip, just covering where I etched it before. And I like to place a small blob of the Builder Gel on the end. Before I place the tip on my nails, I always turn my mini lamp on so it makes it easier to cure. When I place down the tip, I'm leaving a small gap between my cuticles. I plan to fill this part in later with gel. I've seen a lot of Korean nail artists do this and it just gives the cuticle area a cleaner look. So I'm going to try that. Thank you. 
Once all the tips are on, I'm going to fully cure them under my big lamp. Now I'm going to file the sides and get rid of any excess gel that may have seeped out. Then I'll buff up the surface of the extensions. You just want to roughen them up and remove the shine as I'll be applying a layer of builder gel on top. So when I paint this on, I want to make sure it's going to fill in the gap around the cuticles. This extra layer of gel will also help to add strength to my extensions. Okay, so I'm ready to start painting my nails now. This is my favorite sheer pink nude gel from Ray Gel, number S205. As you can see, it's very loved and I only have a tiny bit left. Luckily, I do have a backup one. I'll paint this shade on the nails. I want to create the mint green ombre. One layer is enough. M105 is the mint green shade I'm going to use today. It's a Japanese pot gel, so these need a good stir before using. I'm going to paint a thin layer of this on two thirds of my nail. For the ombre, I was planning to use a sponge, but then my sponge had some little fluffs on it. So I decided to just use my liner brush instead. I'm using small strokes to blend the mint green into the nude. If you find it a little bit difficult to blend, you can always dip your brush in some clear gel and it will help blend the color out smoothly. So that's the first layer done. I'm going to cure that and I'll do a second layer. For my thumb, I'm painting on a silver glitter gel. This one is from D-Gel. For my ring finger, I'm going to paint on the sheer nude and decorate this nail using some mint stones and bling. To attach the big stones, I'm using Mark Hart's Clear Poly Gel. I like using this because it's thick and it holds the big stones well. So I'll just place that on top and once I'm happy with the placement, I'll flash cure that using my little UV torch. Now I'm adding in more nail decorations and I'm slowly building the design up. I'm kind of making this up as I go and just seeing what looks good. And honestly, this takes me the longest to do because I'm just so indecisive. Sometimes I'll try something and it doesn't really work. So I end up removing it or placing them differently. I ended up deciding on adding extra gold chains to highlight the shape of the nail and I'm really happy with that. For the middle nail, I want to add a dangly stone. This will be the centerpiece of the nail. Then I'll add the same gold chain around the border and I'm using clear gel to hold in place. On the inside of the chain, I'll create a border of little reflective stones that will match the minty green aesthetic I'm going for. 
and then I'll apply a small chain border on the inside. For my thumb, I'm going to bling it out with all sorts of stones. This one is on my left hand, so I don't mind it being a little bulky and over the top. Now I'm going to apply a clear overlay top gel to seal everything in. For the nails with the stones, I'll use a liner brush to apply the top gel in all the little gaps and crevices. Then once everything is covered, I'll fully cure that under my big lamp. Finally, I can give the nails a wipe with alcohol to remove any sticky layers and I'll quickly do my other hand off camera. Here's what both hands look like. What do you think of my design? I'm actually really happy with how they turned out and surprisingly, they're not heavy or too bulky, which is nice. I think it's the length that I need to get used to. That's it to this video, my loves. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye.